Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad. Today, bringing our video, and today we're gonna be going over Season Five Reloaded, which is gonna be happening later on tonight or early tomorrow here on September 8th, September 9th of 2021. So, really, the focus of this video is to show some game in the background. The focus of this video is to go through what I'm hoping is gonna be a major rebalance or a continued rebalance patch for the Warzone weapons from both Cold War and Modern Warfare. So. You can see the roadmap on screen, obviously, for the Season 5 Reloader. We're getting a lot of things for both Cold War and Warzone. We're getting the broadcast station, some new uh, events, modes, things like that, which is good and all, but I, we really haven't heard anything on the weapon uh, or the lower balance change. So this happened at the start. We know they mentioned, they mentioned this at the beginning of Season 4 that Raven was going to start making an effort to lower the... And that by lower, I mean make increase the amount of time it takes to kill an opponent with a wep with the weapons in game. So instead of 200 milliseconds, it'll take uh, 275 milliseconds or 300 milliseconds to kill somebody with a, with a weapon. So they're raising the TTK by ultimately lowering it, essentially, uh, in order to make it longer times to kill. So that way you're not getting beamed so heavily by a lot of the no recoil weapons and just some of the meta. It really kind of eliminates that meta factor and relies more so on gun skill with different weapons. So uh, they did a huge balance patch here in season four reload where we saw almost, uh, I would say it was probably somewhere around 65% of the weapons of the game for Warzone were rebalanced and their TTKs and damage values were adjusted. So I'm really expecting to see something similar to that here with season five reload. It's just a question of we haven't, if, if it's gonna happen because we haven't really heard anything from Raven Software lately on this they haven't really they've been pretty quiet about everything they've been doing a little bit of weapon tuning here and there but nothing major and i think now we're at a spot where i think between season four and five i believe that craig six received i want to say it was at least one but i i thought it was two different uh balance changes for to increase the recoil and adjust the damage values on the weapon and uh, the recoil itself on the on the Cold War weapon, specifically the Craig Six and the Stoner, is still really non-existent when you use the mil-spec barrels, the, the last barrel attachment for those weapons. Really, the recoil is really non-existent on these weapons. So really what I'm hoping for is a, a large rebalance change here. And you can see the gameplay in the background, just running the AK-47, the Modern Warfare AK-47, and using it pretty effectively here in Warzone. Again, this is a really hard weapon to use, and I think this serves as a really good example. If you compare this weapon to the AMAX, as well as some of the other, especially if we look at something like the uh, the C58 and some other Cold War weapons that would fire the same 7.62x39 and the C58 obviously firing the same caliber the SCAR fires being the 7.62x51. So if we're looking at overall ballistics or at least caliber size, a lot of these weapons should not have drastic changes to the damage values as well as just the recoil for the weapons. Like something like the SCAR should have better mobility than the C-58, especially the C-58 can have, I believe it's a 50 round drum and the SCAR can only carry max of 30 rounds. The SCAR itself is a very light weapon in real life, whereas the C-58 is gonna be a lot heavier, especially when you're carrying 50 rounds of 762 by 51 NATO. And the SCAR itself has very, fairly low recoil for a battle rifle, whereas the C-58 is a weapon that would have higher recoil. And it seems to be the complete opposite. So this is hopefully, Something that I'm I'm really not crossing my fingers on that they can address sooner rather than later. And I'm hoping that comes in tomorrow's uh, Season 5 Reloaded with a balance change. Again, a huge balance overhaul. We need continue. I think the Warzone weapons, or the Cold War weapons specifically, need a lot more recoil. Some more specifically visual recoil. Now, I have a video ready to go on this. However, I want to hold off at least another day or two to see if they adjust this at all because uh, it wouldn't really make sense to release this video saying what they need to do if they end up doing it. So mainly my main concern right now, just to give you some insight, is that the Cold War weapons really visual, they have some recoil, although it is very low and it's straight vertical, so it's very easy to control. However, if you were to compare some of the modern warfare weapons, if we look at like the Kilo, the M13, these lower recoil weapons, and compare them to like the Krig and the Stoner when they're kitted out for max recoil um, mitigation, the Cold War weapons, the scopes themselves are the optics that you may be using. You could be using the three times optic on these weapons for the Cold War weapons. The optics themselves do not have any residual recoil from the weapon. So it's almost as if the optic itself is almost like a free-floating optic off of the weapon. 
And if the weapon itself is recoiling, if that bolt is kicking back and the barrel or the muzzle of the weapon is rising, the you would have a visual shake from the optic itself. Now, we don't see that with the Cold War weapons. We do see it with the modern weapon weapons. And that's why something like the Kilo, the M13, some of these weapons, even though they're low recoil, you still get that visual shake with the optic as that bolt hits back on full automatic fire. And it, if you're engaging at long, long ranges, there's some sort of automatic fire penalty there, at least from a visual perspective. Although your bullets may not deviate visually, you have to kind of question whether or not you're on target or not. It just creates another factor there to be aware of, whereas the Cold War weapons don't have this visual recoil. So there's nothing there to really have to uh, put you in check before blasting full auto at 200, 300 meters with these assault rifles. And again, if you look at something, compare, I like to compare the C-58 to the SCAR A to the Mark 17, just because they both fire the same round, that 7.62x51 NATO. C-58 is a far superior weapon in game than the SCAR. The SCAR has always been a very underutilized weapon. It's funny because the SCAR actually received some buffs prior to this season four uh, reloaded huge weapon balance overhaul. The SCAR did receive some buffs and then the balance patch happened and it just kind of negated those for the most part. The SCAR is a very uh, hard weapon to use just because it does have heavy recoil. You only have a 30 round magazine. And again, if you compare it to the C-58, the C-58 is just superior in all ways, even damage, recoil, mobility. And that's another thing, mobility on colder weapons. So this is something I think they really need to go ahead and adjust, um, at least add some sort of visual recoil. There needs to be ADS t uh, penalty on some of the Cold War weapons that have those 50 round drums for the larger ammo, 60 rounds, etc. And it just needs to be a little bit more balancing to bring them in line with the modern warfare weapons, especially because we have the World War II integration coming here with Vanguard. So hopefully that's something they can do. Some weapons that I really want to see buffed here or at least see some favorable changes from the uh, modern warfare side. Then we'll get into Cold War side. Modern warfare changes, I think the... Uh, the M13, I'd like to see some changes to the 300 blackout rounds. I'd like to see the 300 blackout is more comparable to the Russian 762 by 39 caliber. So this is a larger caliber. So this overall should just do more damage instead of more damage at range, right? It doesn't really do more damage in game now. It just, you have greater damage values carrying across ranges. But up close, things like that, you're not doing more damage. Whereas the Cold War weapons, they actually have some of those... Uh, barrels that do that so 300 blackout i think that that itself should be um not only when you're firing it without a suppressor it shouldn't show up on the minimap because it's a subsonic round but you should also be dealing more damage with that obviously the bullet velocity is slower there's some pros and cons to this which would actually balance that out really really well and it would give you a reason to use the 300 blackout if it were at closer range other things i want to see buffed or some changes to that would make it more viable would obviously be the SCAR, the Modern Warfare AK-47, which you see some gameplay on the background, as well as the Rytec AMR. The Rytec AMR, a really fun gun to use, especially with those 25 millimeter explosive rounds. However, if you're taking on a, a vehicle lately, I really have rarely been able to even kill vehicles with one of these lately, just because it seems like it's gonna take around 10 shots to bring down a vehicle. So things like that, I would like to see change. For the Cold War weapons, I think the Krig, the Stoner, the Fara are just a few to name here that really, especially the C-58, all need visual recoil. They need more horizontal recoil. The recoil pattern needs to be a little bit more crazy. The barrel adjustments that they have done previously need to be reverted or at least changed to where you're not getting so much vertical recoil control out of the barrels, the suppressors, and the grips. You just have too many, too many attachments that are stacking to control the recoil on the Cold War weapons versus the modern warfare weapons. So it's starting to cause a big problem to where you can pick up a, a Krig or a Stoner and just have the game of your life. Whereas comparably, the uh, Stoner to the PKM would be, the Stoner would be far superior, has matchable rate of fire, as well as just the damage at range, bullet velocity and everything like that. It just seems to be far greater than the PKM, which is pretty crazy to think about. And the Stoner, again, very easy weapon to use. I've tested that as well. And Again, that's one of those guns you can have one of the best games of your life, but just by using it. And it's almost laughable, the, the kills you can get with that, as well as the Craig. So let me know down below what you guys think. Again, we haven't heard anything from Raven on this. Let me know what weapons you want to see. Hopefully get some, some buffs here with what we're hoping is going to be the Season 5 Reloaded Weapon Balance patch. Again, we haven't heard confirmation from this from Raven. We know it's going to be coming, just a matter of when. Is it going to be coming tomorrow or tonight with the Season 5 Reloaded? And again, Season... Five reloaded 
will be launching for Warzone at least, where they said in the Activision blog is going to be September 8th at night, so 9 o'clock uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so that'll be 1 o'clock uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, tomorrow morning being September 9th. So let me know down below what you guys think, what weapons you want to see adjusted. I think there's definitely a lot that they can fix. Some of the SMGs, things like that, just need to be uh, more attention to detail with some of the, just how they handle it. Take, take out the realism factor and just make it more of a fun game. There needs to be more balance to incentivize people to use more than just what is right now the stoner. The, uh, the Craig K31 and the C58 is really all you really ever see anybody using. MAC-10 and also the OTS. So hopefully they do something with this. I'd really like to see this. I think Warzone just such a great game. So fun. Um, just to have more eyes on some of these issues to make it a more enjoyable experience going forward. Because Warzone is something I really want to keep playing. Um, even after Battlefield comes out and some other games. So Warzone is just a lot of fun. And I like to see it kind of keep up with uh, the paces so hopefully they can get ahead of these quality of life changes and we'll ha see this game change for the better again i think it's in a pretty decent spot right now just a lot of the weapons still need some balancing recoil things like that but uh hopefully we get these changes and i think that would be really really fun with a new map to have just overall completely different ttk values even if they just completely switched these things up flipped everything on its head it would offer something a different experience at least which would be a lot of fun to play with for a while and i think they just needed to do this every once in a while they need to completely change up the weapon performance damage values and just make it so it's almost unpredictable every once in a while when things get crazy like this they really need to just do some crazy things and make it so the game's fun and new again like it was when the wars of first launched so let me know what you guys think down below till next time buffer game oh.